our everyday concept of work is anything that requires us to use energy. However, the scientific concept of work is far more strict or far more formal than that because scientifically work is only done when a force is applied on an object and the object moves in the direction of the force. So we have a formula here that tells us that the work done by force F is equal to the product of that force and the displacement of that object also multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement. So we can demonstrate that very simply with an example of an applied force pushing a box 7 meters across a horizontal surface and we can calculate the work done by that applied force using this formula that tells us that the work done by the applied force is equal to the product of the applied force and the displacement of the object and the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement. The applied force has been given to us as 120 newtons, the displacement given to us as 7 meters, and in this case we can see that the force is applied to the right and the displacement is also to the right, which means that the angle between the two is zero, which means that this is the cosine of zero, which we know is one. So we can say that 840 joules of work has been done by the applied force to move the object across the surface. Where this becomes complicated is that we know that while this is happening, there is also a force of gravity acting on this object. Force of gravity that is pulling this object downward into the earth, which we can see is 98 newtons. But now to demonstrate the fact that scientifically that force of gravity is doing no work, we can show that the work done by the force of gravity is equal to the force multiplied by the displacement multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the two, where the force is given as 98 newtons. The displacement here is 7 meters. And now what we can see is that the displacement is to the right, but the force is downward, meaning that the angle between the two is 90 degrees. And so we can say that the work done by the force of gravity on this object while moving 7 meters to the right is 0 joules. So we're saying that the force of gravity does no work on this object. A slightly more complicated example here would be when the force that's being applied is no longer applied horizontally or vertically, but now applied at some angle theta. And that's where we find that this cos theta term in the work formula helps us because normally what we would be required to do is first calculate the two components. So we would say if this is a tension force, we would say that there is a vertical component to this tension force, which is calculated as t sine theta and there is also a horizontal component of this tension force calculated as t cos theta. Now the formula for work done by the tension force negates the need for that because the work done by the tension force is equal to the tension force multiplied by the displacement of that object multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them and as we can see this formula already includes the cosine that we want here. So we can simply substitute in our tension force of 100 newtons as it's given, the displacement of this object as 15 meters as given, and the cosine of the angle between these two now, as we can see, this object is displaced to the right, and the force is 30 degrees upward from that, which then tells us that we can calculate our total work done as 1299.04 joules. So as we can see, we could have also calculated this separately and said the work done by the vertical component, I'm sorry, the horizontal component of the tension force and then TH times displacement cos theta. But the result would be the same because our horizontal component we know is 86.6. The displacement is 15 and now since we have the horizontal component the, the angle between them is zero and the result would be exactly the same. So this work formula already includes the cosine so that it calculates only the component of the force 
that is acting in the direction of the displacement. 